Today we're gonna learn how to create and use the custom commands in Cypress IO. This is Young Media. Welcome back to this beautiful channel, and let's go ahead and try to understand what does it means in Cypress. All right. So, uh, well, the custom commands in Cypress, it say it is saying that Cypress comes with its own API for creating custom commands. All right. And also, we can override existing ones. The built-in Cypress commands use the very same API that is defined below. That's what we are going to do in this video. Right. Try to understand how to do this. Uh, it is saying that a great place to define or override commands. It is. It is. Is in your Cypress support and command js file why because it is loaded before any test files are evaluated via an imported statement in your support file all right so it is basically saying that this command js files it's gonna be a uh, well it is actually imported here in the index.js file so you can create custom commands and you can use it in every part of your project all right so i'm gonna try to create the first uh, cypress command here the syntax is pretty simple cypress press that commands that at and inside of here we just have to define the arrow function a uh, well to declare the, the the custom command what we're gonna do in this video is try to create a type a uh, logging ui function where where you where we are gonna be expecting to two parameters the username and the password and the uh, just calling one function we can log in or log out in the application all right so let's go ahead and try to do this well the the, the custom command here is going to be named type logging right and we just have to call the the arrow function here and as i told you before it is going to be expecting two uh, parameters the username and the password right i'm going to just continue with the arrow function here as, as normal and inside of the arrow function well we have to look for the different web elements in this case for example i have to look for the username web element here i'm gonna look for the data test attribute and the value it is something if if you haven't seen this kind of videos where i explain how to manage uh, selectors and lo locators in cypress well i i just want to tell you that there are, are a bunch of different um well um different methods that it is going to help you to well um, get the web elements with your cypress framework right so as, as you can see in the line 28 what i what i have done here is well look for the data test username web element which is this one right this that this one that you can see in the screen right now and uh, after i have found the element i'm just typing the username that i'm receiving in the function right all right and after that i'm gonna come here and look for the password selector because that's the same thing that i want to do send the password that a function is receiving just let me refresh the website because i think i have done something well weird and i'm gonna copy the the attribute here and the value to localize the web element that i want in this case is data test password i'm gonna just come here see why that get and inside of this kind of uh, symbols right i just have to type the password as i'm telling you this is something i that i have explained before please go ahead and take a look of the website or actually the web video the, the youtube video that i have done for uh, selectors so once i have entered the username and the password the next thing that probably you are thinking it is just clicking on the login button right so for example if i come here and look for the id i can come here and says and say see why get id login button right and once this is done i just have to do a click here and well as you may think that's it right i'm just logged in in my in my website so um well let's try to implement this command in my uh, in, in a test right so i'm gonna come here to my integration folder right that where there is the place where you uh, will the cypress recommend you to have the different uh, test cases or the different scripts right and i'm gonna come here to the um, well i have a folder here i think let me see um it is inside of um commands right i have created that yeah there it is the folder commands i have created a commands that spec js file here right and i'm gonna come here and well start doing my test i'm gonna uh, use the the common the the common syntax of cypress to start writing my 
um, my test case, right? So um, I'm gonna call he, call this command example, right? Commands example. Well, as you know, the describe uh, syntax also requires a callback function here. So I'm gonna do it, and then uh, I'm gonna create a before each method to actually uh, visit or well get the the website that i want to go right in this case is sasdemo.com i'm just gonna copy this uh, url and paste it in there in here all right once this is done i have created the before each function the describe is uh, di redirecting every it or every script to the sasdemo.com uh, website right and if i come here for example and just call the new command that i have created which was type login right as you will see here i just use the syntax cy that and the function name that i have created in this case is type login it is going to be receiving or actually expecting two different uh, parameters right the first one is going to be the username and the password is going to be the password right <laughs> uh, if if i come here and take a look of the accepted uh, uh, usernames we have uh, a few of them but the correct one is the standard user right so i'm gonna come here for example copy the standard user here and the password for all the users is secret sauce so i come here secret sauce i'm sorry there it is i'm just gonna delete and here and now if i execute for example a single it i should be able to see my website and probably uh, i will be logged in after or actually before the it is executed right so i'm gonna do just call this test just to make sure that everything is working fine function uh, i'm gonna just gonna use the cy lock command here just place test and i'm gonna execute in the test runner what i have well coded yet right so as you will see here it is actually doing the function let me just use the test runner to explain you what have what has happened right if you come here and see the web the the before each here it is actually visiting the the sauce demo website right mm -hmm. then it, it it is typed in the typing the standard user then the password and as you can see here it is clicking and getting to the website that i want it to be right which in this case is when I have logged in successfully in the application and as you can see well I'm inside of here right so I'm gonna try to do something else just to to well teach you another for example another application of different commands let's imagine that I create another Cypress commands command commands that at I'm gonna call this function logout uh, well, it is gonna be expecting nothing, right? I don't need any parameters to log out in, into any application, I think. And probably what I'm gonna do here is just come here and take a look of what I can do here. And uh, I'm gonna just, uh, well, log in in my application, right? And I'm gonna come here and look for the password. There it is. Now, what is the procedure that I have to follow in order to be logged out of the application? Well, in this case, I have to click on this uh, menu button, right? And then click on logout. So what I'm gonna do is, well, look and inspect for this element, which in this case has this particular ID. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just come and see why I get the ID uh, value here and then click on it, right? Cause that's the, the thing that I have to do in order to log out of my application that's it and then once i have clicked on this uh, menu button i just have to look for the logout a uh, link or button to right so i just have to come here look for the id for example i'm gonna use the cy get use the syntax of id look for the value and then click on it now i have two functions that are can be globally used i can uh, type login and i can log out so what I'm gonna try to explain you here is that, for example, if I come here and I use a before, after, I can perfectly use a callback function here, right? And once every it is uh, has finished, right? Uh, or actually, this is after. I'm sorry, before after. I I'm kind of. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. After each is. 
yeah that's the correct way to describe this so once i have done this for example i can use the cy uh, command and look for the function or the custom command that i have created here so i'm gonna come here cy logout and probably if i execute again the website or actually the test you will see that it is actually logging out of the website and um, well i haven't seen that uh, i haven't uh, or actually i can see if it is currently logged out but i think so let me see it is actually clicking on the logout button but the new or uh, there it is right it is well in the main home page again mm. so let's try to do something different just to different to to have uh, different examples of these functions right i'm gonna create this i'm gonna change this it to be a success login test all right well, I'm gonna change this uh, see while lock and gonna I'm what I'm gonna do is we'll bring this type login function to the first it all right it is gonna be a success login test right it is gonna be expecting the correct uh, username and a password and once this is done I want to make sure that for example I'm gonna get the title of the website once I have login successfully so I'm gonna come here let me see if I can uh, well for example log out uh, or uh, i'm signing in the application right now right so for example i want to make sure that this a uh, products word in the title or actually this span is displayed in the website uh, as soon as i have logged in in my application so i'm gonna just make you know, a simple assertion here what i'm gonna do is look for the uh, span here which has the class title so i'm gonna come and look for the element which th the class title right and i'm gonna make make sure that this title has the products word all right so what i'm gonna do is use a shoot function here and a uh, well actually look for if if it contain the text and the word that the html has here which is products once i have done this for example i want to a log out of my my application so i what i'm gonna do is well use the cy logout function mm -hmm. and as soon as i have done this i want to make sure that i'm in the right place how i can do it if 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 you take a look of this and i log in with the standard user and secret sauce you will see that the the url has a different path right it is pointing to inventory.html so uh, what i got what i'm gonna do here is uh, well i'm gonna check out that as soon as i log out of my application well the sauce demo has only sauce demo.com right so i'm gonna do that how i can do this with well with one of the location method if you haven't seen that video too about how to handle the different url uh, methods you can take a look of that video in my playlist mm, all right so what i'm gonna do here is well make sure that the url right has or should equal or should have the correct uh, url which is this one i'm gonna just come here copy this and paste it here and if i execute the the test again you probably will see that um, that it it should be working fine and the thing here is that well this after each is not necessary anymore because i'm performing the type login and the logout in the same it so i'm gonna just save this and execute the test again i'm sorry let's see and as you can see here well i'm gonna try to explain you the the test process that that it is happening here it is visiting the sauce demo website then it is getting the username entering the standard username uh, well as soon as i have done that it is entering the correct password it clicks on the login button and as soon as it happens well it is redirecting to the inventory html website or well the the the, the sign in website right and as soon as i have done this i'm checking that the products word is is displayed as expected well as soon as i do this i uh, as soon as i have done that i wanted to log out of my application so it clicks on the burger burger button here in the money in the menu then it clicks on it it displays the the different options here as soon as i have done that it it, it does click on log out button and it checks that the sauce demo website is the one that i want the that is there right so it has an assertion happening there as soon as as, uh, I, as it happens as you can see the assertion happens here and the test is passed as expected so 
it, if you wonder why I'm doing this, it, it, I just wanted to to well give you another example. For example, I'm gonna use um, the tile login button to make another test. Let me sh let me just try to explain me. Um, it is gonna be a failed um, login test, right? So what I'm gonna do here is um, well do this try to do the same syntax here and just gonna call a callback function mm -hmm. and uh, well what is gonna happen is that uh, I'm gonna well use the command cy type login but in, in instead of using uh, the correct username and the correct password what I'm gonna do is use incorrect or actually another problem user user for example or the locked out user that as you will see here and I when I enter the that particular username and the password I'm gonna I'm not gonna be capable to enter to that particular uh, world website so I'm gonna try to do that particular scenario right so um, let me see I'm gonna do something else for example I'm gonna use the standard user mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use a dummy p password <laughs> So, well, the message probably will change. Let me show you. Dummy password. And as you can see, as soon as I click here, well, this message is going to be displayed. Username and password do not match any user in this service. So, how I can make sure that this is the message that is happening or actually displayed? I'm going to use the command cy.get. And I'm going to look for this element which is the error h3 all right so i'm gonna come here look for that attribute and value and i'm gonna uh, use an assertion here should uh, contain text for example and the text that should contains is this one and as you will see here probably if i execute the website or actually test again well, it is visiting the SaaS demo website. It is logging in the or trying to log in in the application, but I'm entering the dummy password here. So, well, uh, an error match message is displayed, and as you can see, well, here the message is the one that we are expecting. Username and password do not match any user in this service, and the assertion is passing as expected. So, thank you very much. I think that uh, we have covered a pretty simple example of Cypress commands and different usage usages. So, please let me know in the comment section if, if you like this video, and if you didn't, please also let me know. If you have any other example or any other test case that you want to cover, please let me know in the comments, and I'll try to find a space in my in my schedule in my daily work basis and try to record that also too thank you very much for watch the whole video if you are here please as i'm telling you let a like subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye